Welcome back everyone to another episode of Electric Supercharging My Super Slow Suzuki Swift. We're going to talk about batteries again. I got scammed. I can't believe I got scammed, but I did get scammed. Let's talk about my scamination. So last time we were going to use these cells here. These are LTOs, 6 amp hours, and these are also LTOs. These are 18 amp hours. Three times the capacity. Great news. Uh, Price-wise, supposedly new of uh, LTO uh, Lyson 18 amp hour ones. Um, price was approximately the same as these. Uh, these are brand new. I've got a pile of them and they were genuine. That's probably because this is a relatively new cell and you can't get old ones and so you can't get scammed. Well, you can get scammed if you never receive them. Uh, these are, like I mentioned, 18 amp hours. They were, the ad said they were brand new, uh, but I got some of them and they are definitely not brand new. I know they're not brand new because of the damage to each end of the cells. This is actually a pretty good one. And they've all got different serial numbers, uh, which seems pretty strange, like completely different letters. Uh, and obviously we can test the capacity. They actually tested pretty good capacity wise. That's because LTOs have such an incredibly long life that it's, you know, even after 10,000 usages, you're still getting a really good capacity. But the main reason why I know that they are used, other than the fact that they're, they're damaged and they're actually old cells, uh, is the fact that their internal resistances are vary quite a lot. The manufacturer's specifications say the internal resistance is 0.4, and these are much higher than that. Uh, brand new ones, like Alex bought, he tested them, AC resistance was 0.2 for brand new ones. Uh, we'll cut away to my scene of me testing the internal resistances. The internal resistances you're about to see are with the cells fully charged. Well, they were fully charged, they dropped back a little bit. And they actually do test difference in internal resistance if they're fully charged and when they're flat. Um, so their internal resistances look a little bit more equal. Okay, before we check the resistances, uh, they do come with these battery bars. Uh, they're not magnetic, so they probably are copper they don't feel like aluminium uh, but they're probably brass which is partly copper uh, but they are a ridiculous size they're like far too large so they're garbage really you can't use them but we can but only for vague testing and because of the follow-up video I will do on this let's plug that in it's not gonna work without that Okay, so for cell, now when I do this, because it's quite important, I'm not touching it at the end of the batteries, I'm touching the actual meat of the battery on both sides. Not that batteries have meat, uh, but that affects the internal resistance. So the first cell we have... 0.2 five eight milliohms or 0.59 then we have 0 0.77 0 0.43 0 0.42 and finally 0.41 so quite a big variance there uh, so the manufacturer specs say 0.4 the add-on Ali says less than 0.1 so these are all technically fine so it can't be returned uh, brand new ones of these will get 0.2 oh and I forgot the little ones for comparison's sake They get point three five. The fact that they have higher internal resistances by themselves is not the end of the world, except for the fact that they're quite different internal resistances. 
that means when we're pulling high currents out of them they will get um, they will discharge at different rates and so they'll get out of balance that's a bit of a problem if we want to use all of the capacity in the cells and if you want to flatten them and charge and flatten them and charge them uh, that is a bit of a problem and also uh, from a BMS point of view um, you're kind of gonna need a BMS if they're quite badly out of balance as in internal resistances or capacities where I was pretty much hoping to do what Alex did which is essentially just give them a active balancer and not bother with full-on BMS controlling the maximum charge of voltage per cell and um, under voltages that is because we can pretty much just under charge them and under discharge them as a pack as a whole and hope that they're pretty much about right also LTOs as I've learned even more uh, on recent times you can pretty much charge a uh, discharge them to pretty much zero and they are okay um, I'm part of the Facebook group for these guys uh, and sometimes people get them delivered at zero volts and they charge them up and they get full capacity also you can pretty much overcharge these seemingly with no ramifications they do apparently explode at like five volts um, but that is like miles off of the <laughs> the recommended uh, 2.8 um, seems you can charge them to three volts pretty much fine yeah so I got scammed uh, I'm really surprised I got scammed well I'm not actually surprised I got scammed uh, I'm I just can't believe I got scammed because I'm so used to uh, the problems with fake batteries of AliExpress which is where I got both of these and I normally would avoid getting scammed completely by ordering the minimum number of cells and seeing if I a get them and then testing them to see if they are fake and then just you know giving up so I did buy the minimum quantity of these and that which actually is four and they were genuine I for some reason did not buy the minimum quantity of these which is one I bought a whole heap of them I received five of them which was not all that I ordered and all of them were used and so I got scammed shouldn't have got scammed because I should have ordered one of these and then tested it and realized it was fake but I really shouldn't have got even done that because when it comes to the internet and buying stuff if it's if the ad is too good to be true it's probably not true uh, so I will probably not probably uh, I can re will return to buying these I can now actually get these in New Zealand cheaper than I can get them from China surprisingly someone imported 200 of these and they're trying to sell them on trade me which is like um, eBay in New Zealand uh, and because of inflation and shipping costs they've actually had them for a little while and it's um, I can get them cheaper here assuming that they are genuine so I will attempt to get my money back on these uh, it's not as easy, easy to get your money back on fake stuff and stuff that didn't get delivered than it used to be on AliExpress um, but hopefully I will because I basically wasted a number of months worth of money on these fake cells which I shouldn't have if you'd like to support me that would be great I was trying not to waste money on this whole project and do it once and do it correctly however I have thus far wasted plenty of money on batteries not just these I've actually tried to get other ones that turned out to be fake um, but I wasn't massively scammed on those and with my ESCs I didn't get scammed on that but it looks like they're not going to work without catching fire all right guys and girls I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.